So as we have mentioned, um, one of the things we did last year was um, to establish a business plan. Now, I'm saying a business plan, well, it doesn't completely mean that we're running a business. But the idea is to have a document that, um, as was mentioned by the speakers, first of all, will allow the club to grow in, in, a, in a sustainable manner. We we'll hear a lot about clubs, you know, getting a lot of debt and then having problems and going up uh, the league table and then suddenly going down a couple of divisions. So the idea from inception was that we would like this club to be as sustainable as possible. Um, and in order to do that, we need to plan. So this is why we have a business plan. It's also there to help uh, the club maximize its exposure because if we maximize our exposure, it will be a very nice thank you to all our sponsors and uh, will also allow the club to promote the principles it stands for, but also bring people within the locality together. We have to put in perspective two issues. It's very difficult to be sustainable when you don't have any sources of income, um, apart from the goodness of our sponsors, uh, the goodness of, of our members, and the fact that the committee spends a lot of its time after work hours you know, running the club, it's also difficult uh, to run a club within a locality that has, is not used to having a club. Our, our exposure in terms of um, people knowing about the club, being involved in the club, um, has always been difficult. So having a plan will aid us in those, in those, in those two areas, to um, bring the club sus sustainability through um, getting certain resources, and also ex maximizing the exposure of the club. Um, I'm not going to go into much details, but the business plan was, as I said, um, established last year, and it's a three-year plan. Um, just to give you an idea of some of the points within it, um, we had divided them in operations, and, with the, and the second part was on the football pitch. So off and on the football pitch. So with regards to operations, um, at a point in time, we had improving the club's corporate image, improving the club's online media, improving the club's printed material and merchandise, increasing membership and fan base, establishing a clubhouse, ensuring sustainable finances, uh, creating appropriate club interior internal structures, establishing a SWE training ground, and establishing a SWE United Foundation. Some of these items we've already done. I was going to highlight what we're going to be aiming, working on this year. Um, first of all, we're going to be, um, as was already mentioned by Dr. Murray, looking to hopefully finalize two important issues, which is basically the clubhouse for the club. We need somewhere in the locality where people know they can find us, um, and also um, a training ground, an established training ground, because we have been training. The problem is we have been training in Kirkop, we have been training we've been training wherever, um, so I mentioned uh, in, in, a, in a gypsy mode, let's put it that way. So the idea is to try and find a, a specific ground to settle it this year, so that we know that in the next five, ten years, we're going to be there and we will obviously be able to better regulate our costs and uh, plan on a, on a long term. So those are two of our main priorities. Um, we'll be also then, with regards to marketing, um, we'll be having another commitment where just explaining a couple of points. Um, we're looking to increasing our membership and fan base and uh, in ensuring better our finances through attracting further um, support from local businesses and uh, local professionals. Um, last but not least, we're hoping to, um, once now that we've set our online media in motion, um, to improve our club uh, kind of printed material merchandise so that we can better infiltrate the homes of uh, Swede players. <coughs> On the pitch, um, our targets were um, varied as well. Um, we wanted to uh, increase the pool of players owned by Swede United because as uh, was said, we started from zero. So having uh, the amount of players that are associated with the club, but feel the love for the club, um, is one of our priorities. 
Um, we want to establish a minor squad in a youth nursery. Um, we wanted to also establish maybe a, a football, a futsal team or some other sort of uh, team that would allow maybe our reserves to actually gain experience. Um, obviously, this might sound a bit, uh, I don't know, optimistic and thinking it was any zero, but we obviously wanted to push us in the future towards uh, going up in the vision. And um, we also are looking into establishing uh, maybe a football academy um, again to, to give the youth of Sweden an opportunity. So those were the, the points that were mentioned. What we're going to be focusing mostly this year are uh, the getting the pool of players. Um, one of the reasons why we hired Roland Soler is because the principles that he fosters, um, as you have heard him speak. It's important that if you want, if you if you want to run the club in an amateur with an amateur purpose, with certain principles, you need to have um, everyone within the club sharing those principles. And um, this is one of the reasons why we have brought Roland on board. And one of Roland's tasks is to create uh, this pool of players, but also to foster the ethos of the club, uh, whether it's on or off the pitch. And we have told the players that themselves, they have to foster this image as well. The fact that uh, they are kind of diplomats of the club on and off the pitch. And this year, we have none of our players being paid. Um, not that they were paid before, but we obviously, uh, when you're loaning players, some, some people that have their own place would like uh, sign on fee and all this. This year, everyone is on the same level and everyone is enjoying their football. So in Eleven now, we, we eliminated this um, slight uh, problem that we had in the past with uh, players maybe not being on the same Eleven. Um, the second point we'll be working on this year, and I'm hoping that uh, come next year I'll be able to launch it, together with the rest of the committee obviously, uh, is the subject of the youth nursery. Um, we'll be working it throughout the whole year. Um, We've been in talks with uh, a number of people that can help us in a number of places where we propose this. But uh, this is one of our priorities because if we bring up our own players, we can A, bring them up with the principles that we foster. But we can also, most importantly, give an opportunity for the residents of SWE to actually uh, train with their local club and like that, again, foster this uh, community feeling within the local. So that's a that's a base what I just wanted to say, just to give a perspective of what the club is trying to build and the way we are trying to build it. So this document is available. Um, we give it to all the sponsors we and uh, potential sponsors that we meet up, and um, it allows us to keep on track and see our own development. And to conclude, I'm very happy with the way we're going. I hope that we will next year be able to say look at all the points we planned three years ago and these are all the points that we succeeded in, in achieving. Thank you.